we've already learned about the factors that affect pressure. We've said that with constant temperature and volume, pressure is directly proportional to the number of moles of gas. We've also said that with constant volume and number of moles of gas, as temperature increases, so does pressure. Lastly, when temperature and number of moles of gas are held constant, pressure is inversely proportional to volume. We can put all of these relationships together into a single equation using a constant of proportionality r. This equation is P equals nRT over V, also known as the ideal gas law. All gases, as long as their pressure is not crazy big, follow this law really well. There are lots of units of pressure that can be used. Because of this, the constant R can be expressed using all of these units as well. When the unit of R changes, so does its value. These values include all of the following. Let's say we had a 10 liter container with 48 grams of O2 gas at 75 degrees Celsius, and we wanted to calculate the pressure in atmospheres inside the container. Before we even get started with the calculations, let's pick the correct value of R to use. What is this value? Because we want the pressure in atmospheres, we will use the R with the same unit, 0.08206 liters times atmospheres over mole times Kelvin. Now let's calculate the pressure inside of the container. We are given the amount of O2 in grams, so we must convert it to moles first. By using the molar mass of O2 as the conversion factor, we get that 48 grams of O2 is 1.50 moles. We'll keep an extra significant digit to avoid round-off error in our final answer. Similarly, we are given the temperature in degrees Celsius, but we must use Kelvin in these calculations. We'll add 273.15 to 75 degrees Celsius to get 348.15 Kelvin. We are now able to use these values in our calculation to find pressure. The pressure in this container is 4.3 atmospheres.